So I'm a bit touched. I'm a bit touched because I actually went on a rant and um, <laughs> I just saw that I didn't hit record for the audio um, because I'm using a separate audio for instead of the speaker, the camera audio. So I have to see what I said all over again. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't say much though. Um, I was just saying there was a wasp, but it's gone. So that's not really relevant. And I also said I wanted to shoot this video um, in a better place, um, in a place that's more tranquil. So this place, you'll see that it has a lot of trees. There's a swimming pool in the background and stuff. So, but I w I'm unable to shoot the video there. But as I was saying earlier, um, what matters is content. So it doesn't really matter where I shoot it. Um, I also mentioned that this video doesn't really have a specific style or a specific um, array of points I need to hit. Nothing is put down on bullet points. I'm just going to more or less freestyle it. Um, perhaps you can tell by the content or rather the title of this video that it's, yeah, it's a bit of a serious topic. Well, not a bit. It is, it is a serious topic. Um, so what date is it today? Da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun. Well, it's the 8th today. Uh, when did that happen? Saturday, Saturday. All right, so it's the 8th today of February. Um, on the... I'll just cut straight to it. Um, I wasn't on work for some time. A day after I returned to work, this was Wednesday the 27th. Uh, my sister sends me a WhatsApp text and she informs me that uh, my grandma had actually passed away that morning um, and it was because of COVID. I actually thought she was like 97 or something. I think she was 87, 86, 80 something. Um, long story short, um, she, because of her age, naturally she had underlying conditions uh, we've been taught that COVID is especially susceptible or rather more dangerous, not susceptible, but more dangerous to people who are more mature or elderly, the elderly, because at that age, the immune system isn't as strong. And usually at that age, they have underlying issues. And when COVID affects them or rather infects them, meeting these other underlying issues, it's not really great so yeah i get a message from my sister because what had happened is my grandma from what i hear said she wasn't feeling well she was taken to the hospital and um yeah it was found that she did have covered um i think though she was down the day before she passed away, the report was that she's all bubbly and she's okay and she's talkative again. And then next day she had passed away. Um, the tricky thing is, well, it's not really tricky. I think this is the closest we have been affected by COVID. I do know some people who have been infected. Some prominent people actually have passed on in my country. Still, I think my country compared to other countries, it hasn't been as bad. But of course, one human soul is still one too many. You cannot really value or place a value on a human life, on a human soul. Um, I think the thing about this COVID that really made it personal and that really made me understand people's cry and people's anguish and people's pain is just seeing how it really affected the family not that there was any issues or anything with the family uh, when I say how it affected the family I'm talking about the fact that when my grandma had it, my dad also had it. So he came 
to the city on Tuesday, um, the same day it, because he was with my grandma and the same day he found out that she had it, then he had to test, he found out that he had it. Um, and the thing with COVID is, I don't know if it's an international or global thing or if, if it's something more specific to my country, but I doubt, I think it's more global. People are buried quickly. Uh, whereas people maybe might take seven days or whatever time they take to bury someone. It seems with COVID, um, someone has to, can only be put in the mortuary for three, four days and then they have to be buried. So how it hit home is that because my dad was infected, he couldn't go to the burial, to the funeral of his mother. So that for me was just like, whoa. Um, you can imagine your mom passing away. And because you have COVID, you're supposed to be in quarantine. You cannot bury your mom. I'm not talking about your aunt or your friend or your friend's cousins, whatever. I'm talking about your mom, straight mom. So he was at home, he couldn't go to the funeral. And of course, because of what's been happening, um, sorry if you can't see me, if the sun is dimming, um, I see it dimming in the distance. Um, anyway, he couldn't bury his mom cause of, because he was infected. And if you're infected, you have to be in quarantine. You have to be isolated, you cannot mix with people. Um, my sister, however, had an initiative of video calling, so likely she had data, and she just made out, I think it was a WhatsApp call, she called my mom, she called my dad. My mom couldn't be with us, she didn't have COVID, but she couldn't leave my dad alone in the city, you know? You can imagine you're all alone in the house, your mom's getting buried because it's her funeral, so my mom had to be with my dad. They were in the same house, but different rooms. So my mom was just home helping my dad, you know, cooking for him, doing all that stuff. Um, they didn't mix, of course. Um, she cooks and then maybe she'll put the food by the door and then she leaves and then he goes and gets the food just so that she also isn't at risk. And of course, mentally, you just can't be alone, especially with what I just said. So that's the thing for me that really made it hit um, the thought of burying your mom. Um, it was so deep that when grandma passed away, now my dad wasn't well. Before he was even told that my grandma, his mom passed away, um, he also was having the symptoms and I think for a while he was actually a bit scared to test because I think he just didn't want to be a statistic of people infected with COVID. I think just the fear because some of his friends, prominent people passed away. And so you see your friends passing away, you watch the news and people are dying, there are new strains. I think that there was an element of fear and he just didn't want to test. Um, yeah, he tried to push it on for a while, which is quite understandable. But in the end, he did test and yeah. So just the fact that, you know, should I say your worst fear comes true? You test, you found out that you have it, your mom has it. I think it was a lot for him. Before he was told that my grandma had it, um, he was at home. So my family didn't want to break down the news to him that, as you know, that um, your mom has my grandma, his mom, as you know, that the old woman, because in my in English, it might sound wrong when I say the old woman, but in my language, it's it's depending on how you put it. It's um, it's respectful. 
So if you hear me talking about my grandma using the term the old woman and it sounds wrong, just understand that I'm simply using that term from my language perspective. Um, it's hard to explain, but hopefully this explanation will suffice. So you can imagine it's broken down to him that, well, as you know, the old woman was infected with COVID and... Unfortunately, she left us, as in she has departed, she passed away. He couldn't be told that at that stage. So because he wasn't feeling well, they wanted to wait for him to go to the hospital first. Because he wasn't feeling 100%, um, he had to go to the hospital. Even not because of the my grandma's passing away, but simply because he wasn't feeling well, because he was infected. So they wanted to break down the news to him in a more should i say controlled environment in an environment in which should he not react well and because my dad actually also has heart problems so should anything happen because of such great news great as in oh, i'm translating words from my language into english so great isn't the right term um because of such such news let me just say such news should he not react well they wanted it to be at least in a hospital where should they be need for doctors to assist they can assist so he was actually told this hours later after he arrived at the hospital that actually we didn't want to tell you but yeah um your mom has passed on so sorry for the ranting i feel as though this video took a bit too long for no reason sorry about that so this just gave me a different point of view a different perspective how painful it must be to not be able to bury your mom you know um also just knowing that you yourself are of a certain age you have underlying issues you watch the news strains you watch the news people are passing on just that pressure um it's just a lot it's just a lot so with me this is actually the closest she was the closest person in my family to have passed away because of it and i wouldn't say when the news came you know sometimes you reach a point where you're like you don't beat yourself up and be like ah oh, why did she have to leave of course you don't want anyone to pass away but sometimes you reach that point where you're like you know what she was of age and she herself actually said she wants to go um she was a woman of faith and um yeah i think as a person of faith you can reach that point where you're like you know what I'm tired. I just need to rest. Um, for s some people, of course, you might say, look, if you pass away, this is it. That's it. It's no more. But she wanted to rest. Um, she was tired. At her age, body aches, you know, arthritis, bones are cracking, bones are hurting. You just reach that point where you're like, it's time for me to leave. And she wanted to leave. And she left. Um, in my long, in my culture or tradition, there's something called Holaila. Holaila is to say farewell. Um, some of you might possibly relate to this. So maybe someone is in the hospital for a while or someone is sick. Um, and this person who is sick in hospital or at home you can be told that suddenly this person is actually energetic. They seem okay. They seem alive. Everything seems okay. And then a day later, you get the news they passed away. In my language, that thing is called holaila. They say motwa bualaila. In other words, that person is saying farewell. Um, so someone can be sick for a while and then just a day or two before they pass away, that are alive and kicking and seem excellent and then a day later they pass away so it's believed that that's that person kind of saying goodbye 
you know so that's what happened to her as i said a day before she passed away she was alive talkative people were like oh she's back to her usual self um it's a phenomena that happens and i'm not trying to get into why how blah 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 but i just wanted to say it's actually something that also happened in this case um but yeah long story short um she passed away on the 27th yeah 27th of jan and she was buried on the 23rd mm, sorry on the 30th that's saturday she was buried on the 30th of jan so to a degree it's uh, with covid it's painful because even with this i you become conflicted i'm not saying people should walk around without masks but you also see how it has hit people because people's livelihoods their businesses have just been knocked out and then of course you have politicians who tell people to wear masks and socially distance and disallow people from going to restaurants and telling restaurants to close and then they do the complete opposite but i'm not going to get into that i think you all know what and who i'm talking about in the united states again i'm not trying to get into that but just the hypocrisy um when your leaders don't care about you when your leaders say the right things because it's the right thing it's diplomatic it's political but they don't have you at heart it's very painful because the cost is the human life the human soul when you see it fit be fitting to stand and say something on camera just for the sake of your image and then you do something completely different and then you try and justify yourself yet you expect the people to vote for you and yet you made a promise to the people that you will represent them and seek their best interests so anyway um yeah that's just that um my grandma passed away because of covid and if there's something about the human spirit it's that of course we will get through this this won't last forever every generation has had something that has challenged it and i'm sure this generation will look back and say wow we endured we made it um to all the people who have endured people who are in isolation because of the lockdowns people who have had close family members or just people they know generally pass away um people who have been challenged mentally because you're just in isolation you're just surrounded by four walls you feel as though you can't escape um you will enjoy this time will pass this is for a moment a moment does not necessarily mean one day two days but this will pass away um keep strong and um just enjoy the best you can do is enjoy you cannot fight something like this and something like this doesn't come for you to fight it but for you to enjoy I'm not trying to be like one of those people who's trying to say I'm not trying to be one of those people who's gonna try and say well just keep your hopes up and covid was here to teach us this and this um there's a time for that maybe that time is not right now but maybe that time is after all of this is said and done but I'll definitely say enjoy and there's something about the human spirit wars have come and gone we had the spanish flu um we had world war 1 and 2 we had floods many things have challenged us yet here we are as the human race and we have endured so the best i can say is don't lose hope don't lose heart um keep strong and um sorry this video was all over the place i acknowledge that it was all over the place possibly again because as i said i didn't have anything specific any 
pattern or points to follow but um if there's one thing i'm trying to say in this video it's that um endure this won't last forever and um after all is said and done you will have some testimony to tell whether you're a person of faith or not you will be able to say i endured even though it's hard even though you don't know how you're gonna get your bills paid even though you don't know how you're going to pay for your children's school fees pay for your mortgage pay for your utilities etc etc you know that you're not gonna die because of hunger you know that because you're a human no matter how hard it is you know that two years from now you'll still be here you are not going to die because of hunger you're not gonna die because you didn't have shelter so just keep strong keep enduring this will pass love you guys and um thanks for watching peace